Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today, we're gonna pull apart my rear hub, which is the DT Swiss 370, and we're gonna rip out the 16-2 star ratchet and install the upgraded 54 tooth. So, let's dive into it. So the first thing we gotta do is remove the rear wheel, obviously. So we'll disengage the clutch on the derailleur, loosen the axle and remove it. And pull off the wheel. So this is what the kit looks like. Comes with the 54 tooth star ratchet, a couple new springs and some lightweight grease. I have heard some stories of people ordering this kit off of Amazon and getting a fake. So buyer beware. I usually like to buy stuff like this directly from my local bike shop and then you're guaranteed it's the proper thing. So I'm just going to set down a shop towel, put my wheel down on the cassette. You simply just kind of pry up. There we go. There's your old star ratchets. You can see that there's only 16 teeth on each side and they rotate like that. So that is a pretty big gap between the teeth. Gonna make sure everything is all clean, all the old grease is out of there on both the hub and on the back of the cassette. Pull the spring out, you can see the bearing in there and the spring sits directly on the bearing. The springs are kind of tapered so the big side goes on the bearing and it just sits in there nicely. I'm just going to reuse the old springs. I don't think there's much point in putting, you're going to take your special grease. I'm going to go all the way, just kind of get it in every little crack. And I'm also going to put a little bit of grease on the face of it. Rub that around. I'm actually going to put a little bit around here too. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one. Part of the problem I had on this old hub was I think it was over greased from factory and it would skip a tooth every once in a while. I'm just going to rub all that grease in. Beautiful. So I just turned that. So there's all those grooves that these kind of fit into. 
I'm just going to make sure that that's lined up just when I drop the cassette back on. And I'm just going to throw a tiny little bit of grease around here as well. And put the cassette back on. Here we go. So now what we've got to do is reinstall the wheel in reverse order. So we took it off. Re-engage the clutch. Ooh, that is much better. That was one of the easiest upgrades I have ever done on a bike. It's about 150 to 200 Canadian dollars, depending on where you buy your kit from. And all you need is one tool, and that's for your axle. It took about 10 minutes to do. And I really can't wait to get out and try this thing in some technical spots where I need to do some half cranks. That's where it's going to make a massive difference in performance. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like if you haven't already. Love it if you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching the video today, and we'll see you soon.